This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impressions of the Nemesine Singularity Demonstrator in the Obsidian Finish with a .6 stub nib. Now, I had been waiting for the blue marble finish and the launch date had kept getting pushed back and pushed back. I was on an email waiting list at Goulet Pens and finally one day I checked and the blue marble finish was no longer on the site but I did see this blacked out demonstrator. All the hardware is blacked out and the grip section is black, black as well and they also had a rose gold and I kind of went back and forth but in the end I decided to get the black obsidian. It comes with a um, a demonstrator which also has black hardware and the body itself has a black band there I guess to help prevent cracking. Now I have to say in my unboxing video I somewhat unfairly said that the Nemesign pen had, was made of a lesser quality plastic than, say, uh, the Pilot Pereira or the Twisby Diamond. I said it was made of a more of a plastic, like a ballpoint pen. And then I went and checked. And yes, the, the Twisby pens are made of a thicker plastic, but the Pilot Pereira, which is cost twice as much as this pen, um, the plastic feels very similar and in fact it's it to me it's indistinguishable between the two. Uh, the Nemesign comes in minimal packaging, comes with a generous number of cartridges. These appear to be black ink cartridges. Um, comes with instructions for filling the pen from an ink bottle with a cartridge and for cleaning and a three-year unconditional guarantee so if there's any problems with ink flow or the performance of the pen uh, whether it's from user error or a malfunction with the pen itself for a small fee you send it back to them and they'll correct the issue so um, that seems fair to me um, when I took this pen out of the box I was immediately impressed with the quality. In, in fact, the, the pictures, pictures just don't do it justice. I really like the looks of this pen. The center band here, or the band on the cap, says Nemesign in kind of a silvery gold print, and I really I really like that touch because I'm a big fan of the Nemosyne, Maraman Nemosyne notebooks, which also are blacked out with uh, a gold branding on them. So these pen, this pen and paper look like they were made to go together. And I have several of these notebooks in different sizes and styles, so I was really happy to see that. Um, the size and style of the pen is nice. You can use it unposted. The grip section is a very comfortable shape. The It posts deeply and you can feel a little weight back here but it's a it's a pretty lightweight pen but the weight rests right here in the crook of your hand, so it's it's a nice pen. I think the balance between quality and price is excellent here. You, you're definitely getting more quality uh, considering what you pay for this pen. This was $25. This pen and the rose gold finish were $25. The other demonstrator models uh, in various colors, clear and uh, pink and purple and blue, smoke, some of the 
the finishes I'm familiar with. Uh, they have chrome hardware. Those are $20, so getting this finish was $5 extra. Um, and so first impressions on seeing the pen, I really liked it. And then I inked it up with Colorverse Golden Record, which is a nice golden brown ink. And I have to say, I'm a fan of fine nibs. So I was a little bit concerned. I've always wanted to try a stub nib. And I thought the .6 was the safest way to go, considering that I like fine nibs. And I am very happy with this. Now I'm going to do this writing sample on the same page that I did uh, a sample with my Lamy logo. Now this is actually a fine nib. It says extra fine, but it's a fine nib. But I thought this would be nice for comparison. I got to say, I'm a fan of stub nibs now. Let's see. And this is color verse. Golden record. And if you are a fan like me of more narrow nibs, finer nibs, this point six stub is the way to go. To me, it feels like uh, you're writing with a medium, a combination of a medium and a fine nib. Um, the downward strokes are more of a medium nib and the cross strokes are a fine. And it just, I love the character that it adds to my writing. Now, on a side note here, the color see how the Colorverse Golden Record ink, it went on as a, a, a deeper orange, and as it dries, it turns to a golden brown. I'm, I'm a fan of this ink. Now, normally, people like demonstrators because they like to see the ink sloshing around back and forth. You may have noticed here that I've got the piston uh, all the way down because the ink that I'm using came in a the um, limited edition set that's got four ink colors and I'm wanting to try them all so I didn't want to have to use up an entire converter full of ink before I could try the next one. So I just put the converter all the way down, just put a little bit of ink in it. But overall, first impressions, I this is my new favorite nib. This Nemesine Point Six stub is my new favorite. It's, I guess, let me see. I haven't really paid attention to how smooth. Oh yeah, smooth, and it's a pretty nib with the butterfly on it. This is my new favorite pen, and. If you found this video helpful or would like to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.